Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damaro. In this video, we are going to learn about Summarize. Um, so Summarize produce a table that aggregates the contents of an input table. With Summarize, we will be using a lot of functions such as count, sum, and different other ones. So there, you're going to learn quite a bit in this video. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, we are going to create this table called Customer. This has Customer ID, First Name, Last Name, Salary and higher date. Um, now from there we will be start to working on it and uh, start learning about different uh, uh, functions uh, with the, by using summarize the keyword here. Now this is a table called customer so let's go ahead and execute and uh, now this is the data we have. Uh, see right there so this is all the data we have. Now think about that if we want to get uh, the total count of all the records. Uh, so what we can do we can say summarize and then say total rows that's the name of the column we would like to give so if you don't give it is fine it's going to just create column one and now we'll be using count and the customer id so we will be you can or you can use any of the column actually from here to get the counter so with the summarize and using counter we can get the total row count see total rows now if we want to get the sum of all the salaries from the customer table that's possible so let's go ahead and go ahead and take a look here we have a salary column and if i want to sum of all these um so this is how it is you're going to say customer pipe sign summarize then give a name any any name whatever the name you want to give to the column equal to sum and then provide the column so we are doing sum of a summary a salary so let's execute this together and this is going to get us the sum of all the salaries now if you want to do all the rows of salary and uh, also you want to get the count of the employees uh, that's possible together so we are using two functions here we are saying count and sum uh, together so you can have multiple uh, um, uh, functions uh, in the same uh, query so right here so we will say a table name uh, and pipe sign summarize and then this is a uh, alias name what we are given to the count and then uh, we are saying total salary equal to sum of salaries uh, so execute this query and it's going to return you the count of all the records and also the total salary. Now, if we would like to do more like uh, by region, that's possible. So let's say we want to get have a count right right here. If you notice, let me just execute this. Uh, so this is a total sale table and uh, in this total sale table uh, we have uh, regions. Uh, see right there, we have North America, Europe and Asia. And if I would like to get uh, uh, the total uh, count of uh, uh, by region. So let's say I want to see how many records belong to region uh, North America, how many records belong to the Europe, and how many records belong to uh, Asia. So what I will do, I will say summarize, then give a name to the whatever you want to name, equal to count, and then uh, by region so you're grouping by region so here you can see that uh, we have uh, in the europe there are total four records in uh, north uh, america we have five records and asia has a uh, four records uh, now if we will uh, one want to do group in by multiple columns as possible as well uh, so here i'm saying count of the records equal to count and uh, this will be grouped by region and country see right there and also i'm doing some of the items sold by region and country so let's execute this one. So from the total sale table, uh, it's going to return us the region, this guy right there. And then we have country right there and count of records. Uh, so right there, um, see, so there is only one record for uh, Europe, Germany, and there are three records for France, and uh, there are uh, five records for North America, two records for India, Pakistan, and uh, two records uh, for uh, uh, Pakistan here for Asia region. And then uh, that's the sum of uh, for each of the items sold in that region. So that's what we are getting. So you can have uh, something like that as well. So where you can use the count and sum and group by multiple columns. Now, let's talk about another function. So there is another function called argument arg underscore max. So finds a row in the group that maximize the expression to the maximize and returns the value of expression to return or the asterisk to return. Now this is the kind of definition of it, but let's see what it does. Let's say if you want to find out in each of the region which country has sold the most items. So if you guys go right there, just run the total table records are you can see right there and uh, these are items sold see right there these are items sold so if we are interested to find uh, in uh, 
each region or which country sold the most of the items so we can do something like that so we can say summarize or max item sold so because we want to get the max item sold by country uh, in uh, in that country for for the specific region so that's what it is going to do so look at this so europe uh, there was a country france and uh, they, they, they are the country which sold the max value right there 10 asia india 5 and uh, north america 5 so in each of the region uh, this, these are the items sold in max in these countries uh, so you can use that uh, same way you can uh, get the min uh, value of uh, this uh, column according to the each of the country by region uh, so let's do that as well so now in this region Asia, Asia, Europe, and North America, these are the countries and these are the items sold in specific on those countries with the min values. So this is the minimum values they have sold. Okay, now let's go to the another one and take a look here. We have average uh, uh, function as well that can be used with summarize. So you will say total sale, summarize, average, sold price, and buy product name. So let me execute as it is first and it will show you sold price. Uh, sold price is right there. This is the column and then uh, we have a product uh, name right there. Laptop, cell phone, TV and all that. If you want to get every price uh, by the uh, product name, we can get that as well. So you can see right there. Now if we are interested to get the total uh, max uh, price uh, for, uh, for the entire table, that's possible as well. So we'll say total sales summarize max and uh, the column name so we are going to get the max price in that uh, column okay now if you want to get the min uh, that's also possible you will save total uh, sales table here and then uh, uh, pipe sign summarize min uh, and provide uh, the column from which uh, you would like to get the min value so here is a 300 now if we want to do uh, by region or by some column that's possible as well so you will say total sale summarize min value of uh, this sold price by region so now it's going to get us uh, different regions and the minimum price out of all those uh, three regions um, see right there in europe 1200 was the minimum price uh, in north america 700 and asia 300 um, so you can also use max if you would like to do it here uh, that's possible too now if you want to do the sum of uh, all the prices uh, that's possible you will say total sales summarize sum and the sold price up. so this is going to give you the sum, sum of all the prices you know uh, sold price now if you want to do sum of uh, sold price but by the product name so remember that we have uh, uh, product different products here such as laptop cell phone tv and all that so if you want to group by our product name we can do that and get the sum of uh, all the um, prices we sold so we will say summarize sum of this uh, sold price by product name so once we do that uh, it's gonna divide according to this group so the cell phone tv computer laptop and then uh, going to sum the values for those specific values okay that's the great way uh, we have done a lot of uh, uh, functions here now what we are gonna do here we are gonna use uh, take any it's our, our arbitrarily choose one record for each group in the summarized operation um, operator and returns the value of one or more expression over each record uh, so it is uh, going to give you some random uh, record there so see rate summarize take any item sold by region and country so look at this uh, so if i do this uh, what's going to happen is uh, going to give me some random records from each of the uh, group right there so that I have defined by region and country so in, uh, in France uh, we have actually three records uh, but it is it selected one random uh, record with value 10 so if I will uh, and uh, India uh, we have two records uh, it uh, selected one record for Asia Pakistan it uh, selected one record but uh, with any value it doesn't really value matter so for each of the group, uh, it uh, take uh, one uh, value from there and uh, then uh, doesn't matter min or max or in the middle or all that. So it just take the value. So look at this, uh, you know, let's say you're a France, right? So if I will just execute this, uh, now you are going to see for the France uh, what we have there. We have uh, uh, right there, there are three values for France. Uh, and uh, it took uh, the first value from this uh, group. Uh, so for uh, region Europe, and country France it took this value okay so if we go further in uh, uh, right there so India has the two records and it took the second record so it took this one so take any will take one record from each of the 
group you have defined here okay and uh, uh, this is gonna show you value for that uh, whatever the column you have here but it doesn't really matter it's not gonna be like oh let me get max or min values it's gonna any, take any random record and show you the ray one record from each of the group you have defined here okay now let's do another one so if we want to make a set of all the region values so we will say summarize make set region so let me show you but actually we do have already we know that there are three regions north america europe and asia so if we do make set it's gonna make a json array of these values so see right there europe north america and asia so these were the three values and it created the a JSON array for us so depending on the this value okay now what we would like to do use count and decount decount return an estimate of for the number of distinct values for the uh, for that are taken by a scalar expression in summary group so see right there total sale summarize counter so I'm taking the counter by city or by any other column then uh, I'm saying decount by city so that means a distinct values so it's going to give me that okay so see right there total uh, records we have 13 but distinct cities are nine so if you want to take a look by yourself you can just run this query and uh, take a look from here so uh, we have charlotte you know we have uh, so chandigarh Ahmedabad. so there are nine unique values here so this is going to give you estimate in this case as i have very small amount of data so not a big deal but uh, decounter is the not is going to give you estimate for the number of distinct values so if you see that that's what it's going to be okay so now if you really want to make sure you get the distinct you might want to first sort it as a get a distinct record and then take a count uh, that can be time consuming that's fine but uh, if that's uh, required you will do that i will show you in the uh, like something like this so, so you will say total sale distinct city and then uh, you can always uh, come as at the end as a count you know so something like this so, so let me show you right there city okay and then uh, you will say count that should do it so let's uh, okay see it's nine and the decount does the same thing but uh, it's estimated so in case of large amount of data this is quick and uh, uh, but if you want to get 100 percent make sure like oh uh, it is giving me the correct uh, value so because you don't want to es get estimated then you do something like this so, you know okay so that uh, can be as i said that this can be costly because it's going to get you distinct values first and then take the count now let's go to another one is called make list make list also give you a list of all the values and it's going to create a json see right there we are using the same region so now it's returning us some more values so europe europe north america asia north america so this is giving you a lot more values here because the uh, make list give every value it does not uh, give you only distinct value in the previous one what we have seen that make set uh, give you distinct values and make an array of uh, json values um, so here make list uh, give you all the values uh, so that's why we have duplicate records here okay now let's go to another one and uh, if we want to uh, don't want to get uh, uh, duplicate records you can have do something like that total sale distinct region is going to give you distinct regions and then you can say summarize make list and provide a, a region so then it is going to give you unique records so right there see three records there so that's how you can make the list uh, um, uh, out of your values and create the json array so these are many many functions that we have discussed here and what i will do i will put the definition uh, sorry, I will put the script in the description so you can take it uh, and learn uh, from uh, experimenting. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.